Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in early December last year, I posted a video that Microsoft had confirmed that Copilot was causing desktop icon issues when using more than one monitor. So in a multi-monitor setup, basically um, the desktop icons were jumping across the different monitors at different intervals sporadically. And in that video, which I'll leave down below, I mentioned that to prevent users from encountering this issue, um, you might also not be able to update to Windows 11 version 23H2, which is the latest annual feature update, as Microsoft said they had applied a compatibility hold on devices encountering the issue. And then in a follow-up video, um, I also posted um, that Copilot in Windows might not be available on devices that have been used or are currently being used in a multi-monitor configuration. Now that video will also be down below. So basically if you were not able to upgrade to Windows 11 version 23H2 or were not getting Copilot or both, then I may have good news and that's because um, over on the Microsoft Health Dashboard page, Microsoft say that they have resolved this issue, which um, was resolved on this service side for Windows version 23H2. So basically it's a server side update on devices with the update that was released on the 9th of January this year 2024 and that would also be on the 10th of January um, like in my case depending on your region which was this update KB5034123 or any later update so that would also be the bug fix update that rolled out late last month KB5034204 so if you were experiencing any of those issues no 23H2 update was being offered to you no copilot then if you have installed any of these updates Microsoft said then that this issue should be resolved with a service side update for Windows 11. Now they carry on to say that non-managed consumer Windows devices with no other compatibility hold should now have Copilot for Windows available. So you should be able to get Copilot now after installing those updates. And they also mentioned the safeguard hold has been removed as of February the 7th, 2024, which was yesterday in my region. And they carry on to say that eligible Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices with no other safeguards should now be able to upgrade to Windows 11 version 23H2. So that compatibility safeguard hold has been lifted now according to Microsoft. But they also say, please note, it can take up to 48 hours before the update to Windows 11 uh, version 23H2 is offered. And what I always suggest though is um, just restart your device, which may obviously quicken and hurry up the process and then what I would suggest is just to head back to your Windows update after you've um, restarted your device and check for updates which could then obviously push that 23H2 annual feature update from last year to your device and then obviously then you would be able to upgrade to Copilot with that update. Now the affected platforms were Windows 11 version 23H2, 22H2 and also Windows 10 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.